What's what's the strum for Feliz Navidad? Um, is it the down, down, up, down, up? Or? Down, down, up, up, down, up. That one that, that's the most okay. common. Yeah. And it's it's written a little bit yeah. weird. I, I really need to rewrite that one. Um, let's go ahead and just look at that uh -huh. one. Do you have it printed out there? Or okay. where you can look at it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's really, like I said, it's not written very well um because i just took it off the internet you know um let's see uh -huh. i was trying to look on youtube and then is that g dash I mean it's repeated or no what, so whenever the g dash when I, I i did this in another program not i just tried to fix what they already had online rather than doing it myself so that's supposed to be the g hit you know how i do that little dash and it means hit okay yeah, just but okay. Okay. As doing it in another, but like I said, I think I'm going to just redo this whole whole thing because it's really confusing. But why don't we just go through it and just see, and then when I rewrite it, then you'll have an idea of what what I'm doing. Does that sound good? Have yeah, you practiced this at all? I was trying to practice it, but I looked it up on YouTube, and then they were doing like double G at first. That's why I was like, is that what that means? Or, <laughs> but yeah, okay. the, the hit makes sense that you do. Yeah. So this is how I think it should go. Is I think we should have. <clears throat> Um, for the intro, see, and the way, oh, wait, let me, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen so that, um, so that we're talking about the same thing. Okay. Can you see this? Yeah. Okay. So yes. I think, um, it should, instead the G doesn't hit on the Feliz. It actually hits before. So I think we should do it like this. Um, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, hit Feliz Navidad. Okay. Okay, so you still pay, play the whole G yeah, and then the hit after. Okay. Yeah, so so normally the way that it's written is just like this. Feliz Navidad. That's how it's written. The way that I wrote it here is just G hit Feliz Navi and then dad, you do the whole strum, the whole strum. Uh-huh. But I was just adding another G in front of it as an introduction. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, do you have it printed out there? Yeah, I do. Okay, so just write another G up above. Okay. Or, or even write, um, this is how the intro should be. It should go like this. Oh, my pen's getting really dull. So it should be, the intro should be like this. So you have G and then G hit. That should be your intro. Okay. okay. And then if you do that, then you don't need to worry about that first G there that's written Feliz Navidad because it actually would go like this. Down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, hit. Feliz Navidad. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And then where it has the D in parentheses here. That's the D from above. Yeah, that's the D from above, exactly. And then okay. um, and then here it's the same thing as the beginning. It shouldn't be right here. It should actually be before. So it's gonna go. Um, Año y felicidad, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, hit Feliz Navidad, like that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop the share because Trisha's here now, and then I'll start it okay. again. Okay. Hey there, so glad you're here. Yes. <laughs> so we're looking at Feliz Navidad because the way that it's written isn't very good. Um, and I just discovered it in the class I was teaching right before you guys, so I didn't I didn't rework it. So, um, do you have yours in front of you, Trish? Because I'm going to have you like change some of the things the way that it says. It's Feliz Navidad. Yeah, I have it. I'm so sorry. I've lost track of time, and I didn't. And then I was like, Oh my God, it's 9:04. And then I went to find my computer. <laughs> I got home late, so I got distracted with the time. Don't worry about it. We just started a minute ago. So what I want you to do is write this on the top of the page. So your intro is G and then G hit. Okay. 
Okay. Now, when we have this Feliz Navidad, actually, it's exactly the same both times. So you're gonna so you're gonna go like this. With the intro is down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Hit Feliz Navidad, and then you start playing. Okay, so even though this is written here, it actually should be written right here, just like the intro. So this should be G and then G hit right there and just cross that out and cross it out right there too. And that'll make more sense. Okay. Um, and then down here where we have the E minor, turns out you don't need an E minor at all. So unless you want to do E minor, you really don't have to. Um, yeah, just cross that out and make it a G. That E minor is hard. It is hard and you will have to learn it, but. I, I've been practicing, but I still have to stop and do it. <laughs> I'm like. It's a chord that we're going to use a lot, but let's not do it in a Christmas song that you want to just be able to play. Yeah, I'm a, I'll keep practicing it. <laughs> Maybe eventually I'll get it. Because we'll definitely have it. It's in, um, it's in uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow and other songs that we're going to want to play. Okay, so, so remember, so our intro and right here are both going to be the same, where you have G down up, up down up, G hit. All right, so let's play that together. Here we go. One, and Trisha, can you move your screen so it's just a little bit down? Okay, here we go. One, two, we'll go slow. One, two, three, four. G down, up, up, down, up, G hit. Feliz Navidad. Okay, and then and then here it's going to be exactly the same G and then go ahead and write the G and the hit there and then take that out. So, um, so let me just hear you play up to that far. Okay, Sarah, let's have you start. And remember, you're going to play that intro with a G and then that. Okay. Okay. It's just down, down, up, up, down, up, down, hit. Feliz Navidad. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Here. Feliz Navidad. Too many times. Do the same thing. So what I want you to do is right here. I want you to write yeah. and hit right there and cross this out. Okay. Can I start from the beginning again? Sure. Okay. Feliz Navidad. happened here we go i'm so sorry oh dog on it okay um now you can see it right yeah okay 
So go ahead and just do it again. And I'm really sorry, Sarah. Okay. Feliz Navidad. Am I playing it too many times? Hang on. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> you're, you're totally getting it. You're doing it's sounding really good. So don't worry about it. Trisha. Okay. All right. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. With my scent with my singing yeah i know it's it's a little bit confusing because i think because there's so many different versions so that was great you guys that was really good let's do let's do the second part now okay so again the second part's gonna go um with the g and then the g hit and then you're not gonna play that okay so let's um let's start right here on this last feliz navidad okay right there can everybody see right there on that g Two, three, four, one, two, Feliz Navidad, Prospero Año y Felicidad G. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Sorry, my singing is so bad today um does that make sense the way that we did that okay sarah let's have you play that for me okay you can start wherever you want to before that second part okay all right hold on <laughs> Let's see. So, so just start on, start on, um, start singing. Go Feliz Navidad, and then start playing. And then just start on the C. Yeah. Okay. Feliz Navidad. So Feliz you're right Navidad. here, right? Yeah. Just, so, okay. so tell you what, let's just start. Uh, let's just start right here. So you're going to go like this. You're going to go G. I want to wish you a merry. Okay. So, okay. I want to wish you a Perfect. Okay, Trisha. And that's the E. The E. The E minor is now just regular G, right? Regular not, G. Yeah. Not seven or anything. Okay. I wanna wish you a merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Great. So let's do the whole thing. Um, hang on just a second. You guys practice for a second. I'm fixing this for you. And then I can we can use the new version. Okay, so let me just finish this. And then that way, we won't have this confusion. Um,
Okay, we're going to try this new one and see if it works better. And you guys can meet my cat. Since uh, he never comes in when I'm in the other room. I'm trying to get an office and uh, not really an office, but a better place. And uh, this is my mom's bedroom. Yeah, you look like you were in a different place today. Yeah, so so we're trying to trying to make it uh, a little bit better because I'm always in the living room and it's kind of crazy. Yeah, sometimes sitting on a, I was trying to practice on a couch. It's easier sometimes to sit in a chair more. Yeah, the couch was the only chair that I thought we had without arms, but my dad's old uh, office chair doesn't have arms. So I'm trying that. Yeah. It's a little bit crazy. Okay, can you guys see this new one now? Can you see this new page? Okay, so the intro is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, down, hit Feliz Navidad. So is that a little bit easier? The way that's written. Okay, and then we have the same thing here. Felicidad, down, up, up, down, up, down, hit Feliz Navidad. Okay, and then same thing here. Felicidad, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. I want to hit you in there. Okay. And then instead of the E minor, it's G, but it starts here. Okay, so let's try this together. I had no idea it was so bad until I was doing it just uh, an hour ago. Here we go. One, two, three, four. G. G. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. just repeats. Okay, so does that make sense enough that that you guys can practice it about using that version? Okay, so we'll just we'll just leave that there. And I will post that one up for you. And, uh, and there you go. Okay. So, um, so let's see now. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm like, all. What am I doing? I was at the doctor with my mom yesterday until really late. So I had to change that class to today. And so I'm a little bit discombobulated. I just finished teaching that group. Um, okay, so um, I'm looking at the homework that we had. And we had this homework going G to G7 without looking at your fingers. So let's do that a few times, okay? So we're just gonna go G, G7, G, G7, G, G7, G, G7. And if you're still having trouble with it, I want you to keep practicing that, okay? Now let's do G to E minor. Even though we're not doing that song, we're gonna need this anyway. So here we go. G, E minor, ooh, I messed up. G, E minor. G, E minor, G, E minor, ooh, G, G, E minor, G, E minor, G, E minor. That one's really hard, at least for me. So keep working on that if you're having trouble. And then let's do E minor to C. Did you want to say something, Tricia? I was going to say, when you hit that one wrong, it sounds really bad. <laughs> which I've done a lot. Some of them, they sound a little bad. This one sounds really Yeah, you know right away. Okay, so now let's do E minor to C. Here we go. E minor, C, E minor, C, E minor, C, E minor, C, e minor, C. 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 E minor,
minor C. Now this one's easier because if you use your other fingers, it really helps. So I want you to see how I'm how I'm doing this. So I'm going E minor, and then I'm keeping that finger there and putting that finger there. See, because I have that finger as a point of reference to play my C. And to tell you the truth, if you're really just doing E minor to C, you can even keep that finger there and you don't have to even lift it up because it doesn't sound once it's below that note. So you can go, you can play your C with that finger there too, and it won't matter. Because the only thing that you hear on a string instrument is what the, the highest one that you're playing. So anything below what you're playing is dead, it doesn't sound. So if you were only doing E minor to C, I'd probably do it that way. Um, but it's not the best, it's not the best way to do it. So, so there's C and then that's right next to it. See, to put that one down. And then once you've got there, then it's really easy to go. And then to go back to your C, you still keep that finger there and put that one down. And then use that one to go up. And like I said, we're gonna do a lot of songs with E minor as we get into the really cool stuff. It's just, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous chord. All right, so keep working on that one. And then um, let's do, uh, let's go ahead and do exercise four. I don't want you guys to stop doing that, especially over the holidays, you know, when we have some weeks without class, because these exercises are really the way that we, you know, keep getting better. The songs that we're playing are a little stretch, but not so much, but the chord exercise, that's the hard part. Okay, so let's let's start on the F to C7 in the third line. Okay, just doing one strum, F to C7, one strum. Here we go, one, two, three, one, two, three. F, C7, G, G7, F, A7, D, G, C, C7, F, G, C, G, D, G7, C, A7, D, G, A7, sorry, D, G, C. For some reason, I keep playing A minor instead of A7. I don't know why. Okay, so now let's play it with, now let's play it with the strum, okay? Same place. So we're gonna be going, uh, let's see, down, down, up, down, up, down, okay? So we'll go a little bit slower than that. Here we go, one, Two, three, one, two, three. F, F, C seven, G, G seven, F, A seven, D, G, C, C seven. So Sarah, let's have you play it for me the second way using the strum. Okay. Sarah, I want you yeah. to 
I want you, before you play, I want you to say the strum over in your head so you get really, really strong and go just a hair slower. So it's way better okay. to go slow and no pauses. So before you start, I want you to go down, down, up, down, up. Really get that in your head strong. Okay. That again. Down, down, up, down, up. Trisha? I think it throws me off when I try to say the, the coordinates. Chords. Okay, you don't. Yeah. Um, if, if it's better for you not to, it's totally okay. That was really good. Okay, Trisha. Okay. Yeah, I'm terrible at saying. I was always saying them after I played it, so. <laughs> it's all right. Hold on. I need to adjust here. I'm trying to be to look at this and then show you what I'm doing at the same time, so. You guys are both doing fantastic on that. So we're going to keep that chord exercise and we're going to keep that one, that, um, you know, the one strum between those three, those three chords. All right, let's do the cup song. Sorry, I had trouble pulling that up. You are my only class that is playing this because everybody else uh, abandoned it to do Christmas songs. So I'm very proud of you guys. You're awesome. It's a fun one. It is. It's really fun. It is very challenging because of the singing with the with the. Yeah, and I like the way it has different strum patterns. It's the only song really we have with different strum pattern in the middle. So that's cool. Yeah, and you'll have more. You'll have more like that. So that's that's a really fun thing to do. Okay, so here we go from the beginning. Okay, one, two, let's see. One, two, three, four. Sarah, play for me. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, mm -hmm. Trisha. Okay. So just keep this one just for fun. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna write. Tell me if you wanna uh, if you want to play it for me. Because I'm gonna keep it in the homework for the people that weren't here. Okay. okay. Got Feliz Navidad. Now, um, you guys said that you would like to learn Silent Night. So I've got a great version that I actually wrote. So it's so it's not messed up. Let, let me pull that up. Not that it doesn't have mistakes because I wrote it, just that I'll know the mistakes. So um, is that the whole Felice Navidad? There's not another part other than our sheet, right? Is that the whole song? Yeah, that's all it is. As far as okay. I know, there might be. Yeah, I feel like it's long, but they just keep doing the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> like when you hear it on the radio. Yeah, La Bamba pretty much, you know, it's a little bit different, but not much. So Silent Night, I wrote it out in C. And then I tried, we tried using it in a class and it was way too, um, it wasn't a very good key. So let's do it. We're going to do it in, in D, um, but I'm also going to give it to you and see in case that works better for your voices. Okay. So let me share this. Okay. So this is our silent night and it's in three. So the strum is down, down, up, down, up, down, down. It's very much like Edelweiss. Okay. So this intro is going to be D, A7, D, and then D hit, just like in Edelweiss where it's the long hit. So it'll be D, A7, D, D hit, like that. Okay? It makes sense? Okay, here we go. Let's just try playing this. I don't think you're going to have any trouble with this. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. D, A7, D, D, hit. Sun. I'm, I can't think of how to, um, all is come on. Okay, I'm so sorry. I couldn't get the start note. Silent night. There's our note. Here we go. So from the beginning again. One, two, three. One, two, three. D. A seven. D. D. Silent night. So does that make sense pretty well? Okay, now I'm gonna now we're gonna go over it in the key of C. So you can you can try that one and see if you like that one better. Because it's honestly totally about what is better for your voice. Okay. Um, I was trying to sing this one up high and it was just way too high for me. But if I go lower, anyway, so here it is. And you this one doesn't, it just says silent night, but you can see the chords here. It's in C instead. Okay. And the other one says in D. All right, so here we go. I'm going to start with the C. One, two, 
three, one, two, three. C, G seven, C, C. Silent night, oh, holy night. All is calm, all is bright. Brown young virgin, mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and wild. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Okay, so you can see it's it's just in a different key. So this one's one step lower than the other one. Um, and it's a neat thing with ukulele that you can do that, go back and forth between keys. So I'll give it to you in both keys. You play both and decide which one you like. They kind of sound different. Like this one's a little bit brighter. C, G7, C, C. And then this is the D one. You see how it's a little bit more dark not really but it's just a little bit less bright so it's just kind of a fun thing um, and hopefully if we stay long enough i'll teach you guys how to transpose songs and stuff all right now the other song that my other class wanted to do was jingle bells and it's really fun on ukulele so do you guys want to do that one it's 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 like made for ukulele um so here we go It'll be good to have a lot to practice in our two weeks off. That's the thing. I wanted to give you guys a good bit that you that you'll have time to, you know. And yeah. these are these are super easy. All of these are really easy. They're not really challenging. They're just um, a matter of learning it, right? That's yeah, good practice. Yeah, exactly. So now this one, um, you can go down, down, up, up, down, up, or you can go down, up, up, down, up, up. But I think we'll just do down, down, up up down up um it's super easy that it but it's got some really fun things in it for the strum so here's a c hit c hit on the intro so i'm going to play the intro for you so you can see what i'm talking about down c g7 c hit c hit dash through the snow okay so it's just C hit, C hit. Do you understand? Let's try playing that. One, two, three, four. F, down, up, up, down, up. C, down, up, up, down, up. G7, down, up, up, down, up. C, hit, C, hit. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Okay, now, then when we get to this part right here, you have a C and a long hit. So it's gonna go like this. Um, laughing all the way, ha, ha, ha. Okay, way, ha, ha, ha. Or you can do it like this, way, ha, ha, ha. Whichever way you like it better, okay? So let's just do that. So you're gonna be on G7, starting on laughing, okay? So starting on laughing, it'll be down, down, up, up, down, up, C, hit. Here we go, laughing. One, two, three, four. Laughing all the way, ha, ha, ha. Bells on Bob. Okay, did that? Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four. Laughing all the way, ha, ha, ha. Bells on Bob. Okay, does it make sense? Now let's go. Now when we get to the last line, we're going to do that same C hit, C hit. So it'll go um, starting on the G7. It'll go slang song tonight. Oh, jingle bells. Okay, so let's start right here on slang. It's going to be G7. One, 
two, three, four. Slang song tonight. Hit. Oh, jingle bells. Let's do that one more time. Two, three, four. Slang song tonight. Oh, jingle bells. Okay, is that making sense? Be sure and stop me if it's not really clear. Okay. Now we get to the this part. And now we have this right here, okay? So it's gonna go, oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, okay? And you're gonna do, so let's start right here on, oh, what fun, one, two, three, four. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was totally singing it wrong. I was totally singing it wrong. So um, let's start. Let's just start right here on this Jingle Bells. Okay. One, two, three, four. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, Jingle You can either do hey or just hit it or just do down on that. Okay. Now, is this making sense? Okay, let's go from the very beginning. Here we go from the intro. Okay. One, two, three, four. F, C, G7, C, hit, C, hit, dashing. the word hey okay so so this one's pretty fun easy right easy you're not gonna have any trouble with that so then the other thing that i would say is if you guys learn these and you want to learn more look at other songs in that book and if you don't like the arrangement that's in the book then google whatever song it is angels we have heard on high for ukulele you know look at that and uh and you, you, you'll be able to find it online, all right? If you're going crazy, if you find a song and you're like, this isn't working, then just write me and I'll, I'll write it out for you, okay? So what do you think? Fun, fun, yeah? Okay, so for homework, we'll have, um, let's see. So we'll have the, the chord exercise, the one strum, the um, Feliz Navidad, uh, Silent Night, um, and you could do it um, in C or in D. And you choose. And then Jingle Bells. All right. Does that sound good? Okay. Oh, we didn't do Edelweiss 
Do you guys want to do that or you want to just wait? I'm good. We've done it a lot. <laughs> yeah, we've done it a lot. So we'll just, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll make Edelweiss and Cup Song just for fun and the other ones will be the homework, okay? Okay, yeah. All right, you guys, you are awesome. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic Thanksgiving. Yeah. Remember, Thank you. don't stop playing, okay? Even if you can't. <laughs> so are we off the next two weeks? No, just next Is week. Is that what it was? Oh, okay. two weeks to learn it because, you know, it's one yeah. week. Till... I'm off work next week, so I'm going to practice a lot. Good. <laughs> Me too. I'm on PTO. <laughs> yeah, we have... I have to work Christmas and New Year's, but I'm off Thanksgiving. so That's great. Well, and any songs that you figure out how to play, you can you can teach it to us the next class. So that'll be really great. You can. And if you have a question about it, just send it to me and then I can look at it and see. OK. OK, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Have a good Thanksgiving. You too. Love Thanks. you guys. Bye. Bye.